Hello there! My name is Tegan Farron, and I'm a violinist, improviser, and music teaching artist. Did you know that there are many kinds of music that were born right here in the United States? One of my absolute favorite kinds of music, the blues, is one of those that was made right in the USA. The blues is one of the most fun ways for me to express myself while I'm on stage. And today, we're going to turn our living rooms, our bedrooms, wherever you're watching this video from, into our very own stages and tell some stories together. This video is part of the Kennedy Center Education's online collection, Teaching Artists Present, where teaching artists from all over the country lead various arts activities that you can enjoy from the comfort of your home. The blues was born as enslaved people in early America searched for ways to share their stories and their feelings with their loved ones. And in the recent decades, the blues has continued to be one of our strongest musical mediums for storytelling. Whether you want to celebrate with your friends, commiserate with your loved ones, or simply contemplate where you are in life, the blues is really the opportune music to explore those feelings. Every blues follows a pattern to tell these stories, and we're going to join in that tradition together today. Now, a story is essentially a living thing, and one of the easiest ways that we can show that something is living through music is by giving it a heartbeat. Now, a heartbeat in music can be something as simple as tapping our hand on our chest. Let's try that together. Here we go. super strong and super steady, this heartbeat is letting us make music together, even through the screen. Let's get a full body heartbeat going by standing up and putting the heartbeat in our feet. Get a little blues march going. Awesome, now can you think of any other place in our body that we can put a heartbeat? Try something out. Here we go. Great job. Take your awesome heartbeat, put it in your pocket. We're gonna come back to it in one second. But now we need to get to our next step to tell our blues story. So, all we need now is a simple two sentence story. Can you think of a story about your day to day that you can tell in two sentences? Here's my story. I woke up this morning and I really wanted a muffin, but I was out of flour and so now I've got nothing. You may have noticed that my story rhymed and that's a tool that we can use to strengthen even further our stories, but it's totally optional. So don't worry about it if yours doesn't. So now we've got our two sentence story and we've got our heartbeat. Let's put those together and see how it feels. I'm gonna sit back down and I'm gonna put the heartbeat on my legs. Let's get our heartbeat started together and then I'll put my story on top. Here we go. I woke up this morning and I really wanted a muffin. But I was out of flour. And so now I've got nothing. Sometimes when we are trying to communicate an idea, saying something just once isn't enough. Repetition helps us communicate that an idea is really important and it also helps our audience remember it. Repetition helps us to remember important ideas. Have you ever been asked to clean your room? And did you maybe have to get asked more than once? I know that when I was growing up, I certainly did. And usually the second time I was asked was a little more intense than the first time. We're going to repeat the first line of our story to help our audience understand how important it is. And for my story, I want you to know how badly I wanted that muffin today. And so when I repeat my first line, I'm gonna give it a little extra oomph. It could sound something like this. I woke up this morning and I really wanted a muffin. 
I woke up this morning and I really wanted that muffin. But I was out of flour, so now I've got nothing. Now that we have our heartbeat and our story and we figured out how to share how we're really feeling, it's time to join in with the band. The standard jazz combo as we know it today also comes out of this blues tradition that we've been talking about. We have three instruments joining us right now. The piano, the double bass, and the drums. This combo is going to support us in telling our stories today. Let's try it out first with my muffin story. As always, we will begin with our heartbeat. A one, two, now it's my turn. I woke up this morning and I really wanted a muffin. I woke up this morning. For me, hearing the music really helped me to get into character and share how I was feeling in the story. Now, let's try out yours. Getting our heartbeats together. A one, a two, now it's your turn. What else can we do to share the feelings behind our stories? As I started to listen to the music, I wanted to move to really share how I felt in my story. And tomorrow, my story might be different even. I might go get some flour right now. How can your stories change over time? I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll be able to explore some of the other wonderful activities in the Kennedy Center Teaching Artists Presents collection. Thanks so much for watching.